Uh, we are getting a lot of questions about how to integrate with the infrastructure provisioning and the infrastructure part uh, in your Dagger pipeline. Um, usually for two different problems. Um, first, what if you need some pieces of infrastructure that you need to provision from your pipeline because you need to, to use them as dependencies, things like a registry, an S3 bucket, um, and then there is the how to manage the infrastructure that you, where you need to run your actual app. So this demo will show you both uh, aspects. Um, I picked different tech, I mean specific technologies, in particular the AWS SDK, but the, the, the exact same uh, paradigm could be applied with things like Terraform or Pulumi. It would work the same, and I can dig into that if anyone is interested. Um, so. In case you're not familiar with the SDK, first, I need to briefly explain um, CloudFormation. So CloudFormation, in case you're not familiar, it gives you a way to describe your infrastructure on AWS uh, using a template. So usually you use a template uh, format to describe your stack. Um, the template can be either JSON or YAML. Um, then it let you give this template to, to AWS directly and it meant the, the service, the CloudFormation service handles all the provisioning, um, the, the rolling up updates, um, all the life cycle of your, your, your resources. As you can see on my screen, although CloudFormation is very powerful and supports close to 100% of the AWS API, um, the template can be very complex to manage and it's still YAML or JSON. Uh, some people have <laughs> different opinions on that. And so that's why uh, AWS introduced the, the CDK. So the CDK is a way to create your CloudFormation template um, with a language, with a, a real programming language. So I think it supports, well, actually all of them uh, in front of me are written here, TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, and Go. So I used Go uh, for my demo. So Dagger supports several languages as well. And now Rust actually. <laughs> And so, so I, I used Go for both the Dagger side and the, the CDK side. So switching to my IDE. Oh. So I don't know if that's um, if the font is big enough. If not, feel free to, to interrupt me. Um, I try to make it bigger, trying to keep some space for the terminal and the code. So um, let me explain what I will, what this demo does first, um, I will run it and while it, it's deploying, I will explain in more details how it's built. Um, so I have a Dagger pipeline here um, and my pipeline will, will uh, initialize a, a registry on AWS ECR. Then we'll use this registry to publish a new container. So this container is uh, built from my code. So I actually used uh, the Hello Dagger demo. Uh, that's the exact same one you can find on the on the getting started on the Dagger docs. Here it's being pulled from Git, but um, I will show you also how to to deploy it from your local directory in case you're work, working on an app. Then um, use Node to install dependencies, run your test, build the code, then build a container push this container to the new provisioned uh, AWS ECR, and then deploy this container to ECS Fargate. And also the, Fargate's, the ECS Fargate stack is fully managed from that pipeline. So I will, I will run this thing uh, first. So following the readme, I just need to go build and run my pipeline. So here, by the way, I wiped my cache, so it will take some time to build everything. So while it's doing it, I will uh, uh, walk you through through the code and how it's built. So here I see um, a classic dagger output, and you will see that at some point it, it, it will actually show some uh, CDK output. And so I will explain why. I will do so. Yeah, actually here I can see some. CDK deployment and then back to container image build. Uh, so I will start with the readme to explain what's happening here. And I will actually start with a small diagram. It's actually 
easier to understand visually. Um, so it's a simplified view of what's going on. Simplified because the actual um, infrastructure stack is actually more complex than <laughs> what's, what's here. But what we have is, uh, so as I said, a, a Dagger pipeline, each box is usually a container. Uh, so NPM install, NPM test, it's what, what you saw in the code earlier. Then the container build is pushed to ECR, but this um, registry has been deployed directly from the Dagger pipeline itself. So what you see in the yellow box here, you have two. Those are two CDK stacks. So they are fully defined in code in Go, um, but they are, they are actually managed by the CDK itself. So this is when it, it's getting interesting in terms of integration, because if you think about it, CloudFormation is already a reconciliation en engine with a, a DAG, uh, a graph that's it, that is managed on the AWS side. It has inputs called parameters, and it outputs information about what the, the stack produced. Um, the thing here is I need to pass to interact with the DAG that is managed by, by AWS from my Dagger DAG, my Dagger graph of dependencies. Um, and so here, that's why I basically pass some parameters to the CDK, let it deploy. So the CDK here runs entirely into, inside a container um, and manage all the, the, the update of the CloudFormation stack from that container. And then I can retrieve the output um, from the stack that was deployed and use it in the rest of my pipeline. So actually, thanks to the, the Dagger DAG, things will happen in order. I don't have to care about that. So, and at the end, I, the, the pipeline will display the application URL taken from the, 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 the load balancer DNS. So let me show you briefly how it's um, built. And, and then I can also take uh, questions along the way in case you, you I'm going too fast on, on some parts. So I will close the readme here and show you some code. Um, so again, the code that I just showed is, um, I, I created a few helpers to, to make it easier to read, but uh, pretty much I have the exact same parts that, I, that you saw in the diagram. So now I will go quickly to the infrastructure, infra directory. So the infra directory is all the CDK part. This is not Dagger, it's all managed by the CDK. But the interesting thing is that it's still Go. I can build it separately. It actually has its own um, Go dependencies. And so if I go to my main infra uh, code, I see two stacks. So it's fully declarative. The end result will be, again, a CloudFormation uh, template that is uh, managed by the CDK itself. I have two stacks, one for ECR, one for ECS. They map to the yellow boxes that you saw in the diagram before. So if I go to, for instance, the ECR one that uh, is uh, simpler. <laughs> uh, so I define a new stack. I show, um, I also uh, declare a new repository. I give it the repository name and I uh, output the, the full URI of the, the ECR repository. So I can actually retrieve the output if in, in my Dagger pipeline to use it. Um, I will show you how it happens after. Uh, and then the ECS part is a bit more complex. Here, um, the rolling update will be a bit slow because I actually am using the default uh, it's a stack that is provided by, by AWS directly. It's actually fairly complex. It has a lot, lot more resources than what I showed in the diagram. Um, but here you can see this, um, this stack here taken from the ECS patterns um, package, Go package. And I pass few defaults. The most important uh, parameter here is um, the actual container image that was built by uh, the Dagger pipeline. And then at the end, I output uh, the load balancer DNS so I can generate the, the application um, your, uh, URL that actually, well, it just completed on the right. Uh, so this is the URL I'm talking about. And here, if you go to this URL, well, I won't, I won't change my screen to go to a browser, but the idea is you have the, the Hello app that you deploy from the, the getting started on, from the Dagger docs. Um, the advantage, obviously, of uh, running it inside Dagger is that I can use the cache. So if I run it again and nothing needs to happen, I don't even need to touch the infrastructure. Uh, so it's instant because there is nothing to do.
So um, I will briefly show you how uh, Dagger integrates with the CDK. Uh, so initially, I built I, I built a version that was not relying on the CDK CLI, and instead um, um, just used the CDK to fetch the CloudFormation templates and then uh, call CloudFormation directly from Go. I decided to to actually refactor this to use the CDK CLI from a Dagger container. I think it's it's a more uh, it's more it's a more reliable way to use the CDK in my opinion. Uh, but both both approaches are, are possible. Uh, it's just that the, if you go through, if you if you're already familiar with the CDK, you will see that all the interactions with your CDK stacks go through uh, the CT, CDK CLI. So, in actually looking at the code, so the CDK, no, it's not this one. Sorry, it's an old file. So if I go to the main uh, function, I need the the registry and I deploy to AWS. And here you'll see that I have a helper that uh, does a CDK deploy. And so this one actually happens, as I explained, in a Dagger container. So here I have uh, the CD a container with the CDK CLI and it's calling um, a, a simple CDK deploy that I see here. And then once uh, the CDK deploy returns, I just need to call um, the AWS API to fetch the outputs of the stack. Uh, here, the outputs could be returned by the CDK CLI itself. I decided instead to use the, um, the AWS uh, Go SDK to fetch the information directly. Uh, but again, um, both things can, can, uh, can work. And um, well, and that's about it. The CDK deploy will return the outputs of the stack. So here in the main function, I see that as soon as I deploy the registry, uh, which happens, I think here, it's again, it's a helper, but what it does is it's a CDK deploy using the stack that is defined in Go, uh, the ECR stack. And it returns, it will, um, return the, the repository URI that I return in the code so I can use it exactly like in the diagram. Uh, and then I will fetch an authorization token uh, for the given region so I can actually authenticate to the registry. And I will pass that to my Dagger pipeline so I can push, uh, publish, sorry, my, uh, or push actually, both are correct, my image to ECR uh, when my container finish uh, building. So that's about it. I have an app running and well, if I have one, one more thing to show, well, actually it's, it's pretty basic, but if I want to create, um, I will do it qu really quick and then uh, just to show you, but here, instead of fetching the source directory from, um, from Git, I can actually have it locally. Uh, so in case, since, since the advantage of Dagger is really to run all of your pipeline locally or from your CI, I can actually do both. Uh, I think so. I will. I will just clone the the hello dagger repo into an app directory. So here I just changed my code. So source deal is taken from uh, the local app directory, and I will just rebuild and run. So here it will take a while, but I won't let it finish. But the, the exact same thing will happen push to ECR and then deploy to ECS at the same um, URL. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions. Oh, by the way, one thing I would add is um, this demo will turn into probably one or several guides depending on what people want to see. So here I picked um, ECS Fargate, but the exact same thing would apply with uh, EKS or Lambda or anything you you want to use on AWS, uh, the exact the exact same code, the exact same structure can be can be reused. So in case you want to see particular examples, let us know.